All right, how to knock someone out without using vast amounts of power. That's one of the things that I'm gonna teach you guys today that it's so important that you do not get yourself caught up in, ah, uh, how do I get stronger? How do I hit harder? When it's all said and done, when you become a boxer, there are certain variables that come into play that make you a better fighter and a more effective KO puncher. Oh man, I am getting lean. Good God, I'm down to 54. So let's see, what we're gonna do is show you, there are five clean ways to do it without using or maximizing your power. It's all about particular methods that you use in putting your punches together or pairing certain punches together and at a particular angle. That's what we're gonna do today. And today we have the Wild Prince. This Mike Dynamite in the building. So we're gonna give you one of the visuals on how to knock someone out. Key thing is whenever you're fighting a guy and you're standing toe to toe, and he may be a puncher, or you may have one thing you gotta keep once, you gotta stay one step ahead of your boxer, which is your opponent. So if I flinch him, one of the things that he may want to do next is his counter to my flinch is to come at me and for me to step back, half step back. One key thing that you wanna take and keep in mind is it only takes three pounds of pressure to drop someone. What happens is there's an artery that runs behind here. When the chin goes back, it cuts the circulation off to the, to the brain and the legs are disconnected. That's why you see guys get flash knockdowns. So if I want to draw him in, I'm standing here and do me a favor, grab my Whenever he comes in, what I want to do is faint him out, and then I can sidestep, and then I can tap him. I can get that clean shot to his chin. When that shot hits him, I can tell quickly how it's going to affect his legs, or if I need to turn a little bit more steam on that punch. So, like I said, I faint him, and step around, pop, I get that shot. Now, Demetrius Andre had a fight over the weekend, and he used what we call I'll step around. So he dropped and rolled, had a nice little step around. And one of the amazing things about getting a knockout like that is it's one of the moves that you see us do in our video all the time. So I'm standing right handed there. So what he did was he got in the crouch, stepped around, and he was able to catch him at an angle. So you step right here, George, on this one. So what Demetrius did is he made throw the shot, bam, he stepped around here, came across, boom, and hit him with a straight left, touching him directly on the chin, dropping him, boom. That was the perfect demonstration of what it looks like knocking someone out without massive amounts of power. He got up, but he was shook, and he knocked him down two more times the exact same way, point of the chin. That's all I got for right now. It's just important that you guys know, don't get discouraged if you're a fighter thinking you have to be stronger than Mike Tyson to get knockouts. That's not the premise. There are thudding punchers that have that kind of power to change the narrative of the game, but that's not the only way to get knockouts. Like I said, go up to subscribe to the website and you can get kind of like the whole playlist of all of the variations of knockouts and ways to get someone out of there without using a bunch of power. It's just about the system and method in which you take it. This is Coach Eric Bradley, and this is my man, Mike Dynamite, Wild Prince. and the Wild Prince, and this is Master Boxing, where you get your master's degree, degree in boxing. Be sure to share, like the post, and be blessed at God's speed. We out of here. And this week, go up there. It's Halloween, so go visit us on the site. Learn more about what we're doing. We're just trying to make sure we got you guys covered. And re remember, coaches, we work for you. Peace.